Hey guys, Dinsy here, and you're watching Avibat TV with some gameplay footage of Down of a Soul. Welcome, a mind, but without the soul. Only sparks that bear witness to the former splendor. You surely would want your soul back. Fine, there is only one condition of all my puzzles. Okay. Seems reasonable, my soul for the puzzles. So we don't want to lose any time and start right now away. So I guess Unity Engine puzzle game came out yesterday on Steam, the 2nd of October. And you're gonna check it out. So what options do I have? Turn the music off, turn the sound effects off, show me more options, language and shit. Um, there is a Unity launcher, the standard shit. Um, although there's only one preset to choose, but I don't think it's graphically demanding the game that is. Who's responsible for this? Valdemar Umanis, probably. Fucked up the pronunciation, okay. Ooh. Thank you for playing. Let's begin. For each solved puzzle, you get one or two shards of your soul back. Mm -hmm. How much shards do my soul have? The shards of your soul are these white, white, white blazing little shards. White soul shards. As soon as you have brought all of the white soul shards to light, your soul will be whole again. How did I lose my soul? I mean, I know how in real life, I'm wondering in the game. Okay, for each achieved score of a puzzle, you get a white soul shard. Oh, right click was to skip, I thought it's left click. You activate the score by summing up the covered soul shards. If you sum up these red soul shards, you achieve the score of 3. Yeah, no shit. Okay. To sum up... The red soul shards, you need to move the mouse over one of the soul shards, for example, the left one. Pick the left, oh my god. Now select the soul shard you want to zoom up by pointing the mouse in that direction. Alright, now you have uncovered a white soul shard with your selection, I don't get it. To confirm your selection, press the left mouse button. Excellent. So what we're gathering? Three reds, but now. Sometimes you will see this again, this sign. If you click on it, it will repeat my explanation. Where is my mouse though? I couldn't click on it. There's one more thing. Never forget, it's always about achieving the score in the puzzles. Teach me again. This was the option? Where was the explanation? It just starts this shit. God damn it. What about this? So what's the goal here? We want five? Okay. I see the score is set on the bottom. We need six. That's pretty straightforward. Oh, excellent. Now I see. If you don't like your selection, you can change it by placing the path in reverse. Or I could just right click. You can also undo a whole move by clicking the right mouse button. Oh, that's the undo. Yeah. Got it. How much we need here? Ten. Excellent. What now? 13. No shit. Hold up. Again, a bit tricky. I got it. I got it. Kaboom. 
As you can see, there are soul shards in different colors. Uh oh. Once you start a selection with one specific color, you have to continue with this color. Or what is gonna happen? But there is one exception. You've certainly noticed that the marker changing during the selection, yes, I've noticed. So if we... And one out of six fragments will be added for each soul shard. Mm -hmm. As soon as you have collected six fragments, I guess the color doesn't matter because it's white, meaning all colors, you receive a color changing point and then I can. A color changing point allows you to continue your selection in another color anytime. But you will lose any color changing point as soon as you execute a color change. Okay. So we can stack up with sixes. Besides keep in mind that the soul shards you collect, the more color changing points you gain. Okay, now it's your turn again. You suddenly wonder what happened? No. How could you reach 14 points with only 7 so seven soul shots? What? I didn't even see that. Uh... It is quite simple, you don't say. The point of the current selection will always be multiplied with a multiplier. Mm -hmm. Keep talking. In the lower left corner, you will always see the sum of your collected soul shots. So, right next to it, you will see the current multiplier. And you get the multiplier by the colors. In the beginning of selection, the multiplier has always the value of 1. The multiplier increased by 1 with each color change. Got it. Got it. As a result, you double the number of points. Excellent. The marker indicates the color in the current section. What? If the current section is red, also the mark is red. Mm -hmm. If the current section is yellow, also the mark is yellow. No shit. We got this. How much we need here? 24. Got it. Excellent. How much? 24 again. 6? Yeah. We get this. It's also straightforward at the start. Let's see how it goes after that. So far, every soul shot has a value of 1. From now on, the values 2 and 3 are added. Uh oh. This means you will get two fragments for a soul shard that has a value of 2. Now so we get a calculate here. I'm kind of a. Okay. Similarly, you will get 3. For... Yeah, 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 yeah. So, how many do you need? 24. Well, shit. I mean, it's still 6, though. 6, and then, yeah. 24. Excellent. Just makes you reach the color change faster. Oh, I see. I got this. Okay, if you click on... Let the possible starting point for the solution will be shown. What? Oh, there is something on the... Attention, in most cases, it won't show you the most perfect solution. Who would need a hint, bruh? We get this. This is 6 color change. Now what? Now oh, hold on a second. This is five, bruh. But we can go here. Okay, so we can go with this six. Fine with this six. Let me 
missing something here. This is the last one, it's more obvious. And then... No matter how we go... Oh, look at that. Now I get it. We get two color changes. I got it! Because the points stack up, so you don't have to color change every six. Now you are ready for a new feature. So far your selection must be completed within one turn. From now on, there will be puzzles which require more than one turn. For example, this puzzle can only be solved by doing two turns. Do you like your last turn? No? You can undo it by clicking on the right mouse button. Clicking the right mouse button. So we do this, and I right click, it's back again. Nice. But I like it. Okay, excellent. Excellent. How many? Six again. Oh shit, this is two turns again. Okay, so far so good. When the shit is gonna hit the fan is the question. Two turns, 21. Two turns, we have six. This shit is... never mind. Doesn't really matter. Excellent. In some puzzles you will be able to achieve more than one white soul shard. But you still need only one of them to complete the current puzzle and start a new one. This means if you struggle with the second soul shard you can move on and come back later to collect the second one. Okay, cool. Or the less gifted ones in math. But be aware, you only get your whole soul back if you manage to collect all the white soul shards. Man. Okay, let's see, 24. How many two turns? This seems familiar. If it's two turns, but we need 40. Maybe let's see. Now I see. Oh, easy then. We will get the more points. How did we not get that many points? What the hell? We need to start with six and then change cover again. Let's see. Six, cover change. But we can cover change again. Oh fuck. I'm not supposed to get the 40. We need to crank the multiplier, we need to cover swap. But only two swaps are available. Five, six is this way. We can't start with this, this is the end here. So... Actually we can start, but... Right now, six is here. How did that not work? Eight. 
And now we have a switch. 39. 40. Bruh. Bruh. So I did a very good job, Wally, thank you. But this was just the beginning. Mm -hmm. Your soul consists of 97 soul shots, man, who shot at my soul so much. The dark souls were here. And you obtained already 15 soul shots. You see a lot of challenging puzzles waiting for ya. Let's get a better overview. Whoa. Altogether you will face three different puzzle collections. You've completed the first puzzle collection. Masterfully. Eh? And unlocked the other puzzle collection. The remaining four puzzle collections are still locked. You can unlock the remaining four puzzle collections by finishing the preceding ones. Yeah. At the right top corner of the screen you will see the number of already collected soul shards. Now choose one of the three puzzle collections, don't worry, you can switch from puzzle collection to puzzle collection at any time. We're gonna go with dot. The one in the middle, each single spark or a pair of spark represents an unsolved puzzle. What? The mark indicates the next usable of unsolved puzzles. Go for it. Wait, which one did I solve then? That I have unsolved puzzles. Two unsolved? That's the start. How do we... <sighs> this is the start. This is the one we solve. So we click this one. It's time to introduce the next feature. Diamond Soul Shards. It's not possible to start a selection with them, but they are valuable as the colored ones. As valuable as the colored ones. These diamond soul shots represent every covered soul shots. What? For example, if you start your selection with a red soul shot, you are able to select the diamond soul shots in order to continue the red ones. Oh. So pretty much simplifies the puzzle. Therefore, it's also possible to continue your selection from a diamond to a red soul shot. But you can't start with a diamond. Try it on your own. Or we can go... Yeah. Got it. The tutorial continues. Remember keep always an eye on the marker. It shows the color selection color. Got it. Excellent. What now? How many? 24. So... One move. So two switches. Got it. Switch. Switch. Bam. Wa-bam. What now? Triplets. One move. Through them all. So we're gonna get double switch. But we can't start with the purple. Oh, that's shit. Oh, I see we start with green. Start with this green. And then we get it. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that's more like it. One turn, 51. We have... Are we starting red or blue was the question. Start blue. That's not six. Oh man. Oh yeah, we gotta get the blue. 
and then we switch. It's still red. We need to switch. Hmm. I guess we start with red. Switch to blue. Then back to red. Oh, bam. But now... I don't get it. This was the... Back to the puzzles, bruh. This is the one we solved, right? Yeah, those are all the solved ones. This is the one we just started. I completed it already? Yeah. I have. Okay, this collection. Has a lot of... <sighs> it's time to reduce the last feature. Oh, thank god. Okay. Man, it's been 20 minutes. Damn, god. Triangle saw shots. You cannot... Whoa, 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 whoa. Triangle saw shots could be converted into covered saw shots. Once the selection is completed, the cover saw shirt will pass the cover to the connected triangle saw shirts. I didn't got it. I missed fucking vital piece of the tutorial. This allows you to gain a saw shirt if I wanted cover. To visualize this future cover of the triangle saw shirt, you will see a covered flame flare around them. Try it on your own. And now... So hold on. I can spark those triangles with this. This counts as a... okay. Maybe we got it. We can cover the triangles, but you gotta use a turn for it. Well, shit. I cover everything. Okay, I guess I cover all of the triangles? No, not all. Only the close ones. Oh shit, we have two turns, how the hell are we gonna do it? We need 15. Probably we don't need everything. Try again. What? I failed? Oh, shit. <laughs> Try again, bro. Well, no matter which one we pick, it's only two that start. And then we just go. But we need 15. Well, I guess it's not that simple. This looks promising. Then again... Shit. Hmm... What about this one? Dead ends again. Nine, 
10. We need to gather all. We need 15. But how? What if I don't click on anything and just click now here? Oh. So what if I do this? Yeah, I'm gonna affect all of the... But I won't be able to gather them. I see, I see, I see. Now we just need... The proper... No, still though, but uh, we get we're getting the gist of it. We need burn only intermediate routes inside. No, 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 no. Hold up. This connects to this, connects to this. Boom, and then ah, surprise. Oh, Fifteen. Okay, what now? Oh, the same shit. This is six and turns into this. Wait, hold on. Well, suck. How is this not increasing the multiplier? At all? Shit. When you start with the green, or with the yellow. And then go around. Oh no, we start with the red. I need six. Three and three. Switch. Oh shit. You're not good enough. We need more color switches. So hmm. ninety three. This means at least multiplier of three. But how? What if I do this? Mm hmm? Oh, well, that. And then we go. <sighs> no. Not colorful enough. That's first one, and then... That's the shittiest solution. No, 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 no. the trees to be lost.
So we can go all around. No. We can go. Actually, yes, we can go all around. And then switch. And switch again. We just need to do it properly. To see where do we start. We need all those two trees to be multiplied, so this is the one we sacrifice. Clearly. And then how we trigger it out? As from here. No, we need to change here. So we start from two, three, four, five, six, six. Can we double change? Why, why did the, why did the tree go? Oh, it's here. What? It goes six, six. No. I need to go this way and then turn back. I'm gonna be enough though. So we go. Three, four, five, six. Three, four, five, six. One more swap. That was still not going to be ninety one, man. Oh, it's been half an hour. God damn it. I'm hooked up. What if you spare three? Yeah, that's it. Obviously, this is the first. That's the first move. No question. No question knowing how to fall here. We need to start with once. How is this not ready to switch? Then we switch and start tracking up the points. Only 70, well done. I'm not happy with it, but I guess this is where we stop. How do we even exit from here? And uh, for now, goodbye. Yeah, okay, well, thanks for watching, guys. Like if you like, dislike if you dislike. Follow the channel if you really like. Thanks for the support, and I hope to see you all next game.